Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Adam and Ben Show. Hey, Ben. Hey, Adam. How are you? Uh, pretty good, man. Ready to do another one of these? I believe I am. Steve's obviously uh, uh, got some prior commitments that are much too important uh, that trump this, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently their lockdown policies are a little bit looser than yours, huh? A, a little bit looser, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was recently poking around in the uh, tenant and discovered uh, some tenant customization options, which I thought oh, I've just kind of been ignoring because I just assumed it was um, the same as the Azure tenant like, branding that we yeah. did whenever you like company branding when you first set up your uh, Azure tenant. Yeah, yeah. And it's not. And so kind of wanted to poke around at that. and. Yeah, see sure. what we can find. Right. So let me share my screen. Okay. Hey, look at that! Wow, so much nicer than the. You guys don't know, but this is this is huge. <laughs> Being able to see the screen is amazing. <laughs> Teams has just been hating on me today. Um, That's all okay, all right. So what so are we looking at? To start, uh, we're going to the Azure portal, yep. and on the Azure portal, we would have gone to Act Azure Active Directory. And this is like video one, I think, in our whole series. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. Welcome. <laughs> um, so there's a company branding button here. And if we go to company branding, this is where we set up our very rudimentary logos and things yeah. previously. So this, this these is like, are... This is like, like literally the first thing that you do. If you don't do this, you can't do most of the MDM or MEM stuff, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. these are the logos that you see when you're doing autopilot <clears throat> or where you're doing two factor authentication, all yeah, those yeah. sorts of things. These are the things that pop up to let you know that you're at the right company and all those. Sure, things. sure. So the stuff we're looking at is not this, but um, it is over here in Intune or in the uh, endpoint portal, MIM, MIMAC, MIMAC. and um, went to tenant administration. I'm going to collapse that out. And yep. interestingly, you can see it has the same logo as we had over here on company branding. Yeah, right. So you can see how I, <clears throat> how there may have been a little bit of confusion on the purpose here. But um, I guess it just means, hey, we're customizing. Yeah. So uh, I went digging uh, on the web to figure out what in the world we were looking at here. And so there is a doc, and we will include it in the description that goes through all of this. And <clears throat> so what we're actually doing is this, we're, we're configuring the company portal. So the company portal is the um, app that gets installed on all of your Intune clients. And this is kind of the user's interface into Intune, right? So, you know, you want it to be pretty and to have, you want to have certain controls and be able to yeah. do certain themes and things. So there's a whole bunch of information in here that talk in more depth about uh, what we're going to go over here. So we will include that in the deal. So there is a nice document for it. So what's cool here is, um, so this tells, this is the default. So it's gonna be applied to all users and devices. Cannot be, uh, it can be edited, but not deleted. Not deleted also, right. it can't be um, unedited. Once you edit it, there are required fields. And so you can't back right. it out. So in preparation for this, I <laughs> was testing it out and, I couldn't unedit our organization name to have it blank like it was when I started. So we are the ABC right. Corporation. Okay. Sorry, Google. Um, <laughs> but there's a cool button here that we're going to come back and visit. So just uh, keep that in mind as we go. So you just get it's normal, you know, a normal page that we get to edit. But down here is a um, set of policies that you can assign to individual um, groups in your organization. And so that's pretty cool. So it is not a it is not the complete same set of settings that we're going to configure. There's a couple of extra options on the main policy that apply to the whole organization that are not right. in the individual customization policies. But we'll get to that. But just keep this in mind as we go, because we'll be able to create and assign custom uh, themes and things to different groups of people in your organization. And I think that's great if you support multiple orgs or multiple tenants uh, or you know multiple companies within your um, your tenant yeah now you can yeah. actually deploy different branding and theming to them through their company portal that's great 
So if we just go into edit, uh, the thing that's going to be great about this, about that link I was showing at the beginning, is that we're going to be able to test this live, um, which I think is pretty cool. OK, so we can do a custom color here where you can just put in the, the oh, uh, nice. web uh, custom code, or you can choose from one of the random primary colors here. So just for kicks, we're going to change to red. Yeah. <clears throat> so then in the um, yeah. header, we can do organization name. We're not going to get into all of this stuff because, I mean, we're just customizing things so you yeah. can get the idea here. Um, so then you can add all sorts of different information here. So like we can put in our website. Uh, aka.ms slash i.t. That one's, oops, did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. i.t. That one's kind of cool. And can, oh, that was supposed to be our website, website name. So, we'll, yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Go through that. Now, these are specific configuration policies for the uh, company portal on Android and iOS and devices. IOS. Yeah. So, you can add additional um, options here. So, um, we're not going to, I mean, obviously we're not going to go into all of these things, but, um, the, these, these guys down here, I thought were rather interesting. So app sources, so you can have Azure AD enterprise applications as well as office online applications. So if you go to portal.office.com, you, mm -hmm. and your license for office apps, you get to see all the office apps that you are licensed for. Well, adding show here, which we're going to do, will actually uh, enable those to show up in your company portal. So That's before cool. we hit save, let's um, actually, I'll have to duplicate or whatever. I'll just go back. So I want to get this URL and uh, yeah, it's like yeah. it's portal.manage or something. So, you know, this is, uh, it's quite funny. I've, I've not played too much around with uh, like any of the tenant customization stuff because I haven't needed to, but I also didn't know that there was a company portal website. I, I did not either until a couple of days ago, um, Andrew Jimenez from Patch My PC, we were having a chat on Discord and he said, hey, did you know you want to quickly test and see if, see if your apps are going to show up on your machine and stuff? Huh. Um, go check them out in this URL. And so he hinted, uh, clued us in on that one. So before we go, so you'll see the organization is ABC. The yeah, theme is blue. red and our blue, it's not red. <laughs> um, and there are no apps listed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. So we're going to go back to the uh, one we're editing. Yeah. And so we've added that. Now, here is the other thing that I think a lot of folks have asked for and possibly don't know exists. So the um, hide the remove button on corporate Windows devices. Yeah. So if you're in company portal, there's a button that allows you, essentially allows you to uh, remove your device from Intune. Yeah. Um, and then there's a reset button. So this would let you in company portal reset your device. I don't have an example machine set up that doesn't have this configured because they're all corporate at this point. Um, yeah. But I think this is really great because now you can prevent your users from resetting their device yeah. accidentally from the company portal. And so yeah. this would be, you know, this would be one of those deals where you trigger a help desk call to make that happen. Yeah. Um, yep. So that's kind of neat. So anyway, so let's hit save on this. Hit save. And Ooh, then let's go back to our cool um, test site. Now, is it a test site or is it legit like a live, like can you, can you trigger installs from this or? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. that's a good question. Um, so when, so let's go back home and see if I can get this to see the apps. Yeah. So I think that there is a, a connection here between like the device that you're on and the apps that you oh, see. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, that and so sense. like if I go to this device, I can see things about it. So I can reset this device from the portal because it's my device. Um, yeah. That kind of deal. Now the but the reset button is not hidden from it, which is neat. Um, even though we told it to be. So let's I go over yeah, okay. here. I, I'm not sure about the, uh, that piece of it yet. So that may just be intentional because we're not on that machine and I'm yeah. an admin on the thing. So yeah. Um, so now I'm on a device and I'm going to the portal here. And so it's actually asking me to log in. 
And so I think there's a connection between, you know, what the, who, who and how the apps are advertised and yeah, gotcha. that sort of thing. I, yeah, totally. Because look, we've got all these apps now. Yep. And I know we don't have all these advertised to our devices through the, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, th through the company portal at this point and into. So I haven't clicked on any of these yet, but I would suspect that they actually just take you to the browser. The browser, gotcha. Okay. So isn't that neat? So there's it's no, cool. there's no, um, you don't have to install these apps. They just, it's just kind of a quick link to get you to the place you need to go. So it kind of becomes a, a central at, hub. Have a look at devices and see if that uh, reset thing's gone. Yeah. Well, so this shows me all of my devices, but if okay. I was, um, so, I, well, let's just try it. Okay, so if I'm on this machine, is it still here? Okay, so it is still here. Um, what, what about on the actual company portal? So we would need to resync policies in order to get that to happen. Oh, and as sure. we know in our tenant, that may take a little while. So we'll see. Yeah, sure. Um, but I think this is pretty neat that you can just very, very quickly. So I wish more of the things were like this. And I think we've said yeah. similar things. Oh, sure, it'd be nice if there was a way to just test test this um but hey look we clicked on our help desk button and so we can go to our um <laughs> site <laughs> that's yeah. funny because that was from the firewall policy that we did a while ago it is it is <laughs> yep yep so hey how about that's that great. can't get to that um so yeah i think that's i mean that's pretty much it the if we go back to here so this would oh, be yeah. the you know creating a custom version of it and so we could uh, just do test and so you get all of the same sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's all the same, except you don't get those last couple of checkboxes. So pretty much everything is the oh, same. Oh, the last checkbox is being like allow reset the, and all that sort of stuff. Right, right. So that's going to yeah. be a tenant level configuration then at that point. That is really so, cool. I can so see. If we yeah. looked at them side by side here. Uh, so if I do the cool window thingy there and do this one this way, Could so you... this is, yeah, I know, man. Look, look at that. All right, so scroll down. So this is what we're talking about here. That's the major difference is yeah. the just the these buttons are missing. Sure. So it's still kind of cool, but then yeah. you can choose to show. Okay, look, if I've got you know certain people I want to see things, or if I've got enterprise apps that we've got advertised to people, um, you know, yeah, you those things. And honestly, I uh, so my guess here is that the, these enterprise apps would be things where you've like set things up with Azure App Proxy or other, you know, yeah, you've got you've got cloud apps or I don't know it's, what the words it's are for them. Yeah, like, it's it's web, it's software as a service type deal. Yes, where you I keep have thinking software. containers and and Kubernetes and all the <laughs> things, right? Like I, that's what I assume those. Any of those sorts of things that you should, would would configure inside of Azure, right? Pretty much, yeah. You can tell I don't do this stuff. I don't know. Make it up. <laughs> um, so it's these. So if we go under here, enterprise applications, if we had actual yeah, apps correct. registered here. Well, so and so you do have this. quite a few. Um, so an enterprise application can be like, the it's, it's well out of scope for this, but it's enterprise application can be as simple as uh, an app that just gives you permissions to access certain things programmatically, but it can also be a front end that accesses data and you know has a full you know back end website and database and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's just a, a pathway into the software. I got you. That makes sense. So yeah, there it is. Okay, so this did actually work earlier, and I was wondering why. So it just took a minute. So this is my yeah. this is the machine earlier. Uh, I mean, this is just my demo machine that I'm running on, not the VM. And yeah, so the yeah. apps did in fact finally load here for me. So it wasn't specific oh, to the device. So okay. they actually showed up for me as the user. It just it's took a cool. little while. Yeah. That's so, really cool. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was a fluke or what had happened a minute hey, ago. Hey, what's the, uh, up the top right of the screen, the notifications, what are they? So this is telling me that these devi <laughs> devices assigned to me are not compliant yeah. and that we okay. should do something about them. Um, so then we can't access resources until we've met all the yep. compliance policies. That's cool. Thanks. Yeah. So, awesome. uh, so there we go. I think yeah, let's check and see if this one got this. Look, Hey, we got a red, it's red. portal. So and, go to home and see the apps. Yeah. It's good. See our home. 
So we should get a whole. Uh, yeah, go show all. Oh, it's this one probably here. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe maybe it won't show those because it's not really it's not really gonna show the web apps. Well, I think it will. I think we're just I think, uh, the, honestly, I think it's a policy sync thing or uh, just sure. it's already open. Close it and reopen and just have a look. I'm curious. Not that I, I see any value in accessing a web app through uh, the modern company portal app, but yeah, I mean, because you can even see it, like it rechanged the color and all yeah. that stuff so really for a minute. Cool. So I think what we're getting here is very similar to what we're getting here. And this is why part of the reason, like part of the thing is we're getting dynamic content all the yeah. time through this stuff. Yeah. So eh, we're not quite getting sure. uh, all the things. Let's see if we get the action. So we're still getting reset. So I don't think we fully got the policy yet. Um, right. But yeah, anyway, makes sense. test it out, read the docs. We may be getting it wrong here. Uh, I don't know. Or it just may be a timing thing like it always is with this thing. Um, so. Anyway, kind of a cool deal, kind of a cool thing to look at. And also one other, just because I like config manager stuff too, <laughs> one other thing on that um, page, wherever it may be, this one, if you haven't checked it out yet and you're using config manager and you push down the company portal to your devices, you can see your um, uh, Intune applications um, in, sorry, the other way around. You can see your config manager applications in the company portal, which is kind of cool. Really? Use the company, yeah, use the company portal and co-manage devices, but now your config manager apps will actually show up in the uh, in the company portal. Rest in peace, software center. Well, and so with 2006, you actually get to choose if you want to use software center or if you want to use the company portal as your sure. source for, um, for your app content. So, yeah, management, right. There you go. Yep. So all the cool things. Uh, um, my face. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep. Excellent, I think that was really cool. Yeah, all right, well, that's it. We'll uh, we'll end it there. Sweet. Nice chat, Ben. Likewise, talk to you later. Right. See ya. Bye.